Hello, and welcome to Rooster's Recording Studio here in Pensacola, Florida. My name is Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to build a quadratic residue diffuser like the one on the wall behind me. So to build this particular model, you're going to need 16 six foot boards that are one inch by four inch. Then you're going to need seven six foot boards that are one inch by two inch. You can go ahead and cut all seven of the one by twos down to 41 and a half inches long. And then you can cut 15 of the one by fours to 41 and a half inches. First step we're going to do, we're going to take one of these one by twos and we're going to put it on top of this one by four. We're going to take a little bit of wood glue. So we'll just run it all the way down. We flip it over. Just put it in the center and eye it for now. Just get as close as you can. You can swing this end over around the table with that clamp. And now you have this side off the table and it makes it a lot easier to get these clamps on here. So when you get your clamps on the ends first, now you can stand it up on the table like this. And just put them spaced out evenly. When I flip it over, I'm going to take my nail gun and I'm just going to shoot nail right next to these clamps all the way down the middle of the board. So once we have that, we can go ahead and take our clamps off and the first piece you have should look like this. Pretty nice. After you get seven of these put together, you should have eight one by fours that are already cut left. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start with the board that we've made. I place it on top of this other one by four. Once I get those on there, again, now this allows me to stand this board up. Now we can take the nail gun and again, we're just gonna run it down this front face next to each one of these clamps. When it's done, it should look like this. This time, we're gonna put this board towards the front face of here. This is where you'll need a square with measurements on it, or you'll need a measuring tape. The way this board is set back this way, it's not flush with the edge. So it's hard to guess on this side where to put that nail. What we'll do is we'll measure it and then we will just mark it with the pencil. You're going to make seven of these. And now you can take this board and we can set it on top of here and since we have that scrap wood underneath here now it won't try and fall off on you while you're trying to clamp it down. I'm going to flip this around again so this space where I'm going to put these nails is already facing towards me. We're going to need to measure back again where we're putting this nail. And it's starting to look like a diffuser. Very nice. The last step on this process is you'll have one board that you've already cut that's left over. That at the end will be your side cap. So once you get all your pieces together and you get your side cap on, you should have something that looks like this. You should have one six foot one by four board left over that you haven't cut yet. We're going to take that and cut it in two pieces to make the top and the bottom. Take your six foot board 
and cut it to whatever your measurement is, but cut you two boards so you have your top and your bottom. Once you get your top cap on, you can go ahead, flip this piece over, and put your bottom cap on. If you want to stain it like the ones I have on my wall, where I stain just the top faces of these one by fours and the sides, the trick is uh, in order to get this done without having to tape it all off is a foam brush. And don't come this way first. We'll turn the brush sideways and get some of that stain off of there. I'm gonna get a little more. It might take a few times dabbing it in for the foam brush to start absorbing the stain. So we'll turn our brush sideways. We'll put it on. I simply come back and I'm not putting any pressure. I'm just dragging the brush across. And that allows you to get these top pieces done without having to tape the whole project off. So we'll go over the whole thing and we'll work our way down. And there's not much to it. It's just the same process over and over and over. And just continue your way all the way around. Uh, get your sides or however you want to stain it. This is a diffuser that I stained last night, so it's had time to dry and it's ready to hang on the wall. If you're wondering how I hang it on the wall, I simply use these D-rings. They have two screw holes where you can mount that into the back of the diffuser. I use these 45 pound wall mounts the screw that comes with it, and then I put four of these rubber pads. You can stick them to the back and then it won't rattle when you have it on the wall. I use two of each of these, two D-rings and two of the wall mounts uh, per diffuser. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you're interested in seeing how the studio progresses, or if you want to learn about music theory or recording audio, click the subscribe button and stay up to date with our latest videos. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that I can. So thanks again and have a good day.